when you get on a train and you don't want to sit next to a black guy, when you're in a lift and a black guy walks in and like you hold on to your 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 purse a little bit more or like you cross the street, it's because everything around you has told you to be afraid or has told you that something dodgy is going to happen. There was more to us than this like 2D perception that has been like shaped about us. Six stabbings in an hour is nothing to write about. Nonetheless, this is what we learned, that the mother called other mothers to check it wasn't their sons, only to find out it was hers. That aside from the six, on the other side of the city, one brother killed the other. That the earth, unbroken horse, wants us off her back. That the dark palm of probability demands a toll on our lives. I think it's important to preserve stories and preserve culture and memory because that is an important generational tool. When you think about the existence of, of black people in Britain, black people have been here for hundreds of years, but how much is it talked about? How do you feel part of a country if you're not aware of your historical presence in those spaces? How are you aware of your contribution to the identity of a nation if your presence has been erased. It's important that as much archiving in various ways can be done and I think this book is another version of, of archiving these people that are usually reduced to statistics or often demonised. It's important for you to expose yourself to diverse stories because what you're doing is educating yourself, moving yourself away from ignorance, seeing a commonality that has always been there. These stories need to exist for other black boys who are growing up as well and don't see themselves represented in, a, in an eclectic way in, in public consciousness. That one in every clutch of us must take a bullet or a blade that in this chapter of British violence, the nation shivers with its face hidden when questions are asked of the dead. Aren't you satisfied of the living? Aren't you grateful of the politician? Aren't you ashamed of the heavens? Aren't you replenished?